in a world where people wear yellow shirts and they sit in chairs and they hold their mouths open and their hands clapping, <laughs> clapping in glee, there is an interview with Lamar and Tay. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, this is Lamar Wilson from Mashable, and I'm here with Tay Zonday. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? It, this is the listen. I'm voice again. I'm going to say something else. Hey, something else. <laughs> that you are the voice. You know that you you are oh. known as the oh, and not maybe not the golden voice. That was someone else. But oh, you, oh, you are the voice. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so obviously you're known for your famous song "Chocolate Rain." Chocolate rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Yes. They came out of what year? 2007. 2007, when YouTube was still pretty pretty much an infant, right? It was. So was it the first viral video on YouTube, or was it just one of the first? No, there were earlier viral videos. You had Diet Coke and Mentos, Soldier Boy right before Chocolate Rain. You had ah. Crank That. Everyone, <laughs> uh, about a month later, you had Chris Crocker doing his Leave Britney Alone. So That's right. There, there was kind of a cluster of videos going viral. Uh, Chocolate Rain was the best in terms of marketing purposes for YouTube because people could see, hey, one person uploaded one song and thousands of people copied it, adjusted it, remade it. That was a YouTube experience. It couldn't happen anywhere else. All right. So so real quick, how do you feel about the success of that song? It's great. It opened doors for me to do other things like pursue acting, pursue voice work. I still feel like seven years later, I'm growing and figuring out who I want to be as a musician. So it was a great stepping awesome. stone. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted people to know in, in this segment is that, uh, unlike some of those other people, you know, seven years later, you are still very, very well known. We've gone different places around L.A. We can't go two blocks without someone recognizing you. Because, you know, I'm not like someone who tries to go out and get spotted. It just, it literally it, just happens. It, it does just Like, happen. I don't try. It happens. Maybe myself and the world are still figuring out what to do with that uniqueness. I think I'm still waiting for the perfect role. Um, you say like Angela Lansbury found murder she wrote. That was her perfect role for an older British woman. And mm -hmm. so I think I'm still, while I am widely known, widely recognized, mm -hmm. still looking for what is the perfect role for that young looking dude with a deep voice. <laughs> okay. One thing I've admired about you is that by no means have I felt that you've ever been a one hit wonder. And I really hate that term, but that, that really is what a lot of people who are in, who are were viral on YouTube, they no. did one thing and then that's kind of all they're known for. But you've done so much more after that. You've done dozens and dozens of songs. Oh yeah, I, I love a lot of the songs I get to do on YouTube. Uh, Skyrim theme. Oh, okay. The Lion King, be prepared. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. I love the, the theater animation, the Disney stuff. Mm. I just. So I, I noticed you, you do sing a lot of uh, uh, theatrical or keystroke type that. of songs. Yes. So that, that is your genre more so? Because sometimes, because uh, you've done a Call Me Maybe. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. And a few other silly songs, but I, I feel like you really are in that theatrical. I, I, I'm still figuring out my genre, and that's okay. the great thing about YouTube. I feel like I started uploading to YouTube as an experiment to see what would people say about my music. Chocolate Rain was an experiment. It wasn't intended oh, wow. as a final track. It that was, was an experiment? It, it was. That was a great experiment. <laughs> no, seriously. It was, wow. I was just fooling around on YouTube mm -hmm. saying, hey, what do people think of my music? And Chocolate Rain happened to blow up. So I'm wow. still experimenting. I'm still figuring out what is my genre. Um, what do you want your genre to be? Gosh. Um, there, has, there has to be some thing that, that you would love to center yourself I mean, on. God, I like pop when it's done well, like Tayo Cruz. Okay. But... Uh, I have my own spin. I think I, I, in my heart, I'm a crooner. In my heart, I, I love the Frank Sinatra, the big band, uh, okay. the orchestral big band stuff. Your with, voice goes with that. Yeah, my voice goes with that. But I think it could also go well with pop. I'll be honest, I'm just not a very good pop producer. So okay. <laughs> I think maybe I'm looking for the right Tay team to take it to the next level. Uh, okay. Do you think there's a career in the orchestral theatrical type songs or more so in the mainstream pop? Um, 
Uh, the great thing about YouTube, and, and you and I were talking about this earlier, how if you are a tortoise on YouTube and you just stick with one thing, the people who like that thing will congregate around you mm -hmm. um, no matter what that thing is practically if you just, uh, you're willing to stick yeah. with it. So um, I think part of my challenge is I've been so many different places and gone in so many different directions that... Uh, I never really built that one core audience who loves the Taizan Day as one thing. Because you've been experimenting with so many different Absolutely. types of music. And and that's what really, I, I think, a YouTube channel is for. It's like your experimenting ground. Yes. But I, I'm thinking you're feeling at some point you want to narrow that down and... and and center yourself. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. people who have stronger branding have more success on YouTube. Okay. I hate to say that more of the same gets you further, but it actually does. It's, it's actually very it's, true. So we were also talking about you doing voice work, because oh. I, I was you, you have the voice that you need to be doing some voice work. Oh, thank you so much. Now, I've seen some tweets, and there's been some rumors out there that uh, th there's someone on the MLB network, that's the Major League Baseball network on TV, that sounds a lot like you who does the segments. Hey, now, is, is, that, is that you doing hey, those? You never know. You never know. So if you had an ideal role uh, for voice work, let's just say somebody presenting uh, you, you can do whatever you want. I would love to host a game show like... Really? I can see you, you doing You know how that. like Cedric the Entertainer is doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. So, like, he, he's great at that. But maybe, like, I love those intense moments where it's like... Well, well let me guess. For you, Jeopardy. Jeopardy. I yes. knew it. I knew it. you would. So I would when, love to host Jeopardy. So we need to get rid of Alex somehow. <laughs> get, rid, get, get, rid, get rid of Alex. No. And then you have a job for Al twenty five years. Alex is great, but if he ever wants to retire, <laughs> you would Jeopardy. Be, seriously, you would be. That's my. That's my show. You're very intelligent. That's my show. Yeah, you're very intelligent. You well spoken. And yeah, you'd be a natural. Yes. You got good personality. Like. That's today's Daily Double. Hey, Zonday is the host of Jeopardy. Let's let's see what we can do, Matchable, to, there you to help go. him out. <laughs> That's great. So do you have any career goals? Like, for instance, I think you mentioned on one of your Q&As that you'd love to do an album one day. Uh-huh. Like, so is that something that you want to do soon, or you want to find your brand and everything first before you release uh, it? An album happens one song at a time, and a song happens one word at a time. So what I'm just trying to do is wake up every day, get the words right, and then maybe get the songs right, and that may lead in the direction of okay. bigger projects. Okay, so it's just like, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? It's, 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 it's the same type exactly of thing? Exactly the mod. Okay. That's exactly, that's the Tay Zonde success <laughs> How to eat an elephant one bite at a time. Yes, and no one has ever has written a book about that. <laughs> I came up with that and you came up with that. There you go. Self. So last question. What is one thing that you would like people to know about you, Tay um, I would like the person who I am face to face to come across more in videos. Because I think you would agree that there are aspects of me when you are with me in person mm -hmm. that don't necessarily translate and the content that I do on YouTube. And so I think that's what I would like people to know. I wish people would know the real the K, you. Yeah, the real me yeah. more. And I think I'm working on that, figuring out what is the way to do more of that type of content. Okay, that's an excellent answer. And so thank you, Tezande, for your interview, your time. Again, this is Lamar Wilson from Mashable. If you have any questions for Tay or anything, leave them in the comments below and maybe he'll answer them with his YouTube account. I may. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.